Hello there. Hi there. All you beautiful people who can watch these videos. You're really cool. Um, yeah, been gone for a little while. Had problems. Lots of problems. I didn't like being gone. But but here I am. We're going to do some more Kerbal Space Program videos. Um, this is different. This is not part of Chapter 2. This is an interlude. Uh, what What's happening here... As we're going to have a going to go on a slightly separate storyline. I'm I'm having a, a like a, a creative block with with the the previous storyline, and you know I just uh, I can't I can't do it right now. I can't do it. But but I still want to play this game. We're going to do something that will be useful. What the plan is here? We're going to have something separate. Start. We're going to start new. What is this one going to be? This is and since I am live streaming it right now. Hello, hello, live stream people. Hello. Uh, this will be live stream number two. Okay, here we go. This is, in some ways, you could be considered this as taking a step backwards. But it's for the greater good in that it will be for the continuation of moving things forward. What's happened here? Remember, remember Grunt 45. Grunt 45, way back in Chapter 1. That was awesome. Grunt 45 was great. Uh, and then I went into and I had some, I made some other attempts at other launch vehicles, uh, some uh, that would to do the similar thing. I want a reusable space plane that will be a launch vehicle. And I had a couple of designs that worked, but they ended up being too complicated. They are so complicated that I could not add a complicated payload to them. So we, so we went away, we, we developed new technology, we developed new vectored, uh, manually vectored the gimbal on the engines. Uh, that was also good. And we also kept up some fairly complex vehicles. I'm thinking that I need to take some of the lessons learned in these previous vehicles and we need to make a launch vehicle that'll be simpler, that will be have a similar configuration to the rock, because the rock works very well. A simple, a very simple rock type configuration with the manually gimbaled engines, and hopefully this launch vehicle will be simple enough, and especially, and I'll and I'll have to build it in such a fashion that um, that the initial capsule that the, the I'll have to build the the launch vehicle around it. I know I'm describing this verbally and maybe it'll make more sense when you see it. This will not be dependent upon the orbital construction mod. A great mod, but very finicky and it tends to break whenever the game changes and this game changes quite a bit. So yeah let's get started it. <laughs> Here we go. We put that thing on there, and we'll just stick this thing, stick one of those, the structural fuselage pieces to it. Yeah, one of these structural fuselage pieces to it. And we'll start, and we'll also use one of our test weight pieces. We'll start, we'll start with the five KMUs. So this is going to be my stand-in capsule for a vehicle that this is the and now we're going to have to build the launch vehicle around it so in the future see I'll, I'll I'll take the I'll take my launch vehicle and I'll just stash it you know down the floor out of the way and I'll take this off and I'll build my you know I'll take this off and build an actual vehicle onto this build, build the payload okay cool so first thing I know, this has to be. This is going to be a, a similar configuration to rock. I avoided previous to developing the manually gimbaled engine technology. In the rock configuration, I'll have a fuselage that's on type. On uh, the main fuselage will be on top. It'll have uh, kind of a inverted inverted V, uh, the wings will come down and we'll have like pontoons on either side. All of them will have fuel and we'll have uh, we'll have the engines in back. It'll be a good time. Got just like a just a general sketch in my head of, of how this is going to work, you know? 
Um, now that's here's a question I need to ask myself. Do I want this thing to actually be going into orbit? I think it, I think it does not need to have to go into orbit. Does it need to go into orbit, or or do I just need to get this out of the atmosphere? Let's aim for currently. Let's aim for just out of the atmosphere. And let me see. Let's do some struts because that thing's going to wobble around all over the place. You notice that this thing will not be able to. The the payload will not be able to re-enter. <laughs> We're not, we're not going to worry too hard about our Kerbal's lives this time. We, we got technology to develop, man. <laughs> We've had changes and revolutions in, in Kerbal designs. We've got larger parts to play with now that'll make, that I believe will make this work much better. See, I'm, I'm thinking on, on making this to... Uh, so it will, in theory, be possible to um, to land with a payload slung underneath also. So, you know, that'll be cool. Okay, so now we'll put a tail on here, and we'll put wings on here. I suppose it needs kind of like a... We'll need to put the... It doesn't have a long enough nose on it, does it? And I've got a... But I still, I also have to caution myself against getting this thing too complicated. It needs to be as few pieces as possible. Now I want to stick some engines, some vectorable engines on this thing. And we'll see if that is enough to get this 5 KMU payload out of the out of out of the atmosphere. Yeah, let's get some put a tail on there, huh? have to line it up all precisely like this and go one notch up like that. Yeah, that works. Uh, let me see, we'll do the classic T-tail. So let's go ahead and put our rudder on there. Yeah, it's configuration very similar to the original Brock, just smaller. <laughs> okay. Pitch that forward a little bit like that. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, let me see, you need a couple of struts to keep the tail from wobbling around. Okay, okay, that's cool. I like it. I like it. All right, so let's put my slow hinges on there. Or is that, no, that's in here. It's in decals, powered hinge. Slow powered hinges. Okay, hang on, we need to save this. We need to, let me see, what do, what do I need, need to name this thing? That? It's not ready to fly yet, but I need to shut down the game in order to redo something. What do I want to call this thing? I don't know. Baby, what, what would be a baby rock? I don't <laughs> call it Call it Rock Junior. There we go, Rock Junior 05, because he's trying to lift five KMUs. Okay, okay, so now let's, uh, before I go any further, let's test and see if I've got, if I have these, uh, if I have these hinges configured correctly. So we'll just build a very quick and dirty test rig. Down there. Launch. Jebediah Kerman, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> yeah, look at that thing sag. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. All right, so now if I hit seven or eight, these things should move. And let me see. So my right side moves correctly. The left side is moving back. Actually, that's the whole thing's moving kind of wonky. It's kind of strange, isn't it? 
Let's just, it's kind of, since those were moving kind of strange here, let's just hook an engine up just to help us visualize what's happening. Well, actually, no, first we'll flip it and then we'll do that. Flip another one. Because that was moving kind of strange, wasn't it? Good. All right, launch that again. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Yes, now, okay, yeah, this, the previous animation was just looking kind of strange, but this is working correctly. Good. I like that. Okay, so the servos are set up correctly. And we'll just leave those engines on there for now. Okay. All right, so now let's look at some putting some hanging some wings on this thing. It's not too many pieces so far, is it? Yeah, it's not too many pieces at all. Uh, we've got this other mod that somebody came up with. So I used to all, all the time. I used these these massive wing parts. These came with uh, C7's mod a long time ago, uh, but they didn't make survive the uh, the upgrade to the most recent version of the game. But if somebody just went through here and took the usual, the old swept wing part and made them a whole lot bigger. And maybe too big. How about this one? Swept wing five? Yeah, how about that one? Okay, now let's take a look. What's our center of mass? What's my center of lift? So that's going to be kind of nose heavy at the moment. However, this thing is going to be doing a, a vertical takeoff. Uh, so this this whole center lift business isn't in it's going to burn all this fuel. That center mass is going to move backwards. Yeah, let's move the wings back. Move the wings back. Like about here. Still got the dihedral? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Okay. Well, that's all cool, isn't it? Uh, let me see. That's right. I need some fuel lines for these guys. These engines back here. Boom. Put that on here. There we go. And now these things should feed fuel. It should all feed. I shouldn't. I should not have to run fuel lines through there. If I'm understanding the system correctly. I hope I am. Okay, lightning gear. Let's put some wheels on it. Okay, put it right... Well, let's, let's think about this. No, the center of mass is going to move backwards. This thing will be mostly empty of fuel when it lands. So let's go ahead and put those back here, huh? Yeah, let's put those back here. Okay. That's cool. I like it. Uh, let me see. Oh, I, ooh, I need a, a, a mech jeb in order to make this thing controllable after launch, huh? Okay. Did I... I thought I had one of these that I... Let's do one of this radial mech jeb. What's its... Or... Oh, I can put the, that tiny little mech jeb back here. Good spot for it right there. I like it. Okay, cool. So now we need to add apparatus in order to allow this thing to do a vertical launch. That's what I need to do. Let's let's actually let's try launching it in this state right now and see what it needs, you know? This was also a problem, see, recall in previous, the Grunt 45 and other Grunt designs, that um, we could not put a traditional airplane-style tail on there because it had to be able to stand up on its tail. But now we have these other parts, these launch stability enhancers, which solve that problem for us. Whoops, hang on, I clicked, clicked the wrong thing.
Cool. Cool. Okay, so let me see. Where's my engines? They're down here. These guys are here. Let's add another stage like this. Say Rocket Junior 5. Let's launch it. Find out what happens, huh? I don't I don't expect this one to make it, but we'll see. We'll see what needs adjusted. Oh, I should have flipped it around the other way. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. And if I can see we've got a kind of a, a gap between those wings there. Let's retract that landing gear. Uh, let's not gimbal the engines at all for the first launch. Precision control is on. And away we go. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the thing bounce, Jebediah. It's like it's like a Super Bowl. I like it. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. I liked it. Interesting, interesting. Okay, okay. That was cool. Yeah. Okay, here, let's do it. Let's do a end flight, end flight, restart flight. And now, now we're going to be looking at doing some... <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna look at what we need to do with the vectoring the engines in order to, to Actually hang on. No, I want to So I don't confuse myself later. Let's get back into the space plane hangar Let's grab this And turn it around that way save that launch it Okay, so I'm gonna need to manually gimbal those engines downwards first at the initial launch, huh? Okay, wobble, wobble, wobble. All right, track the landing gear, throttle to zero. Precision control is on. Let's take a look at those engines. Let's gimbal those engines a lot like that. Okay, let's go. More gimbal. And less gimbal. Woo! <laughs> Bam! <laughs> yeah, we got some explosions and fireballs happening. <laughs> Things just keeps exploding for a while. Okay, well that's cool. All right, all right. But I think you know I've, I've seen what I've to get the the engine gimbling is effective. Yeah, this is going to work. This is going to work. I'm happy about it.